Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Conyos. Today we'll be making lasagna. The things you'll need is a baking tray, sheets, pellets that you've collected from your birds, cashews soaked in water, cauliflower and broccoli, slices of pumpkin, diced sweet potato, bits of peas, and long pieces of zucchini. Dice up some capsicum and put it into a pot with some water and boil until soft and then blend and this will be your sauce. Next you're going to add your cubed sweet potato, broccoli and cauliflower to add a bit of bulk. Line your baking sheet and put some sauce down. Make sure you get it everywhere and then put down pieces of zucchini adding the sauce on top. Next you're going to add your lasagna sheets then your pieces of pumpkin. At this moment you're going to realize that you do not have enough space in your sheet. You're going to have to somehow manage to squeeze this all into your sheet at once and you don't know how you're going to do it and you hope your birds don't care. Then you realize your, your birds probably don't really care so just put the peas in. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everything will be right. Next you're going to put your sauce down and try and cover it as much as possible. At this point, you're going to realize you didn't make enough sauce. So you're just going to scrape if you like your life depended on it and try and get all that bad boy out into your tray. Spread it around to little to no value. Oh, what are you doing? Spread it around to little to no value and cover your pumpkin and pea mix. See if you can get any any drop left of sauce and pop that bad boy down. Next, you're going to take your soaked uh, cashews and make a sauce out of them. The more water you add to them, the more liquidy they will become. I was trying to go for ricotta type sauce, cheese, and you can see it, it kind of looks like it. It looks good. It tastes good. It tastes like cashews. Spread that along and do a, do a job of spreading that down. This was a great recipe. We laughed a lot making it. I mean, how could you not? We ran out of basically everything and everything went wrong, but we had a great time. So just spread that out. And then you're going to sprinkle your pellets on top as a sort of parmesan gar garnish. Pop that bad boy into the oven. I believe we had that preheated at 180. And stalk your bird for about 20 minutes while it cooks. Take it out. Check it's cooked. Guess it's cooked. And let it cool completely. Now you're going to try and remove a slice from the tray like the professionals do. And you're going to struggle. And it's going to be awkward and you're going to leave it in. Because this made you laugh a lot. <clears throat> Have your bird look down and judge you about what you've made him. And the life choices he has to deal with. Hey presto, look at that. Oh, it came out perfect. Wow. Beautiful. And let your birds enjoy. I hope you guys have liked this recipe today. The boys and girl quite enjoyed it a fair bit and ate it for the next few days. It's also safe for my dogs to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see made next. Bye.